TikTok definitely made me more confident to switch up my style and wear like dad jeans and weird patterns and just like mixed pieces of clothing that I didn't realize would ever go together. I really just embraced that. 2021, I decided to go out of my comfort zone and first things first, I got a bunch of browns. Like an actual bunch. I think browns and like neutral. So this is a little like bralette top that I got from Glasses. I'll have everything linked down below for you guys, but I can wear this with sweatpants or with like these jeans. Something that I have noticed is browns look good with just like blue denim or like tennis skirt that's like white or something, but they also look really good with other browns. This is just a little paper bag pair of jeans. I think this is so easy to just like put together a full outfit, just like monochromatic. I feel like even different tones look good together. I just feel like before TikTok, I would not like pair these two together. I got these jeans off of Princess Polly. I also want to say thank you to ShopTagger for sponsoring this video and working with me again. ShopTagger is a free app and Chrome extension. They use Clever Tech to help you save money and make sure you never miss a sale. They find you coupons when you're at the checkout and y'all can check them out in the link down below. But more browns. They're a little paper baggy. I also feel like they would look so good with like a neutral like creamy beige top. Y'all if you haven't jumped on this super oversized jean trend but you love wearing sweatpants every day, super baggy jeans like is the way to go. I wore these in an outfit and I really like the outfit but let me know because they're a little bit baggier they kind of don't give me completely high rise feel which I am not 100% comfortable. But these give me massive skater vibes so I'm kind of obsessed with them. They're from ASOS. I think they're pretty cheap for jeans as well. You like them? Yeah. So next I found this Puma skirt online. I do like 90% of my shopping online now due to the current world. But this is where ShopTagger comes in super handy because when you're at the checkout, the literal most exciting thing is when you get your ShopTagger pop-up that there's a coupon code and it just automatically applies it for you. It will just like randomly save me like 20% on something and I'll be like, okay. I didn't do anything, but like, thank you. I have saved so much money using ShopDagger. I literally bought three bottles of face wash the other week and I saved 50%. I'll have ShopDagger linked down below for you guys so you guys can be helped out at the checkout. It's super easy to install on your browser and it's free. Once you download the browser extension, you can click the ShopTagger button whenever you see an item that you want to save. My favorite part is when an item that you like goes in sale or comes back in stock. ShopTagger gives you an email or a push notification letting you know. They also have this feature where you can make lists when you save your items. It kind of helps you shop just more mindfully. I had a list for brown items and then my monochromatic outfits. It helps you avoid impulse buying. ShopTagger uses this clever tech to scan the internet and find coupon code on my computer. And also just launched their cashback feature via PayPal with selected retail partners. If you want to save as much as possible when you're shopping online, then click the link down below to download ShopTagger. It's available on your computer and your mobile device. So because this is a Puma skirt, this very well could be a tennis skirt and I honestly wouldn't know. But I love that it's not pleated. It's just like a flowy skirt. The Puma is like not too intense. And honestly, I don't know why these skater skirts that go out at the waist stop being trendy because it's literally the most flattering shape I've ever seen. Plus it's brown so it's trendy. This next one, they had like a bunch of Instagram girls wearing this top. It's from Verge Girl and it looks really cute on just not on camera. Like I swear it looks cute. I don't know why. It just looks so much less cute in the shots that I filmed for this video. I always feel like tops like this look good on someone with like an A cup, but I'm like between a B and a C. So I don't know. Maybe I just need to be like more confident. You know what? Monochromatic outfits and like browns and stuff kind of remind me of buying a play suit. Like you just don't have to think so much when you like put the outfit together and then you automatically look trendy, but really you had no idea. I feel like I just figured something out. <laughs> monochromatic outfits, which at first they kind of scared me a little bit, but really like if you just embrace a monochromatic outfit, it makes you look so much more fashionable. This top is from Glasses. She's just like a little bralette. She's cute with anything. This is like a normal safe outfit that I would go for. So I would wear like this little bralette with a little tennis skirt, but 
let's be real this full lilac outfit i mean you're gonna look at someone on the street and be like oh that's a cute outfit let's be honest <laughs> it looks so much better than the white tennis skirt don't lie vote below the white tennis skirt or the monochrome outfit let me know i feel like this outfit i peaked um <laughs> i'm probably gonna buy it in other colors i found these jeans these were from verge girl they're probably one of the cooler pieces of clothing that i'm ever gonna own in my whole life i instantly thought these need to be in another monochrome outfit there's definitely some do's and don'ts um like this is a don't so i feel like for instance this top is just like way too much for these pants i feel like it'll look better if i had some like like this which i still feel a little bit uncomfortable about but it's cute maybe something like more like a boob tube even that outfit was like a little bit too much for me these with something super basic like this like hold to neck little crop top they're such like similar tones and i feel like this top is so basic it's not doing too much but i feel like something like this where it's a small top the color isn't too intense it works out <laughs> okay here we go i bought a vest this trend is selling this scares me, but when I put it in this outfit... See you later to the rest. I'm getting like off to law school vibes. Where's my coffee and my books? For the record, I make a scenario for every single outfit that I put together. This is the law school vibes. I don't know why. I'm about to show you this other kind of vesty thing, but I just feel like this is like not even the same in any capacity. But this one gives me all the Pinterest girl vibes. That like academia vibe. Sometimes when I use fashion lingo, I get a little bit scared that I'm like not using it correctly, but like you guys know what I mean. I'm yet to try wear a vest with like one of those long sleeve shirts or something. You know the ones, you know the Pinterest boards, you know the Pinterest outfits. If you guys know where to get a long sleeve shirt like that that doesn't look like I stole it out of like my dad's wardrobe. Let me know. <laughs> Next, Y2K aesthetic. For ages I didn't know what Y2K was. <laughs> Year 2000, y'all. I mean, this is a trend that I'm like aware of, but I'm not the kind of person that would ever commit to this trend completely because it's just not the aesthetic that I'm going for. I love like those kind of like older, like 2000 style tops that like Paris Hilton would wear with just like regular denim jeans. I think they look super cute, especially if you match like your accessories to it. I don't want to say I researched the Y2K aesthetic, but I kind of did. And when I did that, I ended up getting obsessed with Britney Spears and her whole life story. Fun fact. I was in the car and Sarah <laughs> talked about Britney Spears for the whole entire 20 minute car trip. I literally told him Britney Spears' whole life story. It's actually sad though. I watched like videos on this channel called Deep Dive and it was so interesting. You guys should go watch it. <laughs> I really tried, but it's just not. It's not. <laughs> this definitely look like something that my mom bought for me when I was like six or seven years old and it's kind of cute. It's just from ASOS. It was pretty inexpensive. It's oh it's by Skinny Dip. I thought they made phone cases. Obviously the Y2K aesthetic um, deserves a little more commitment from me. I feel like this would give not too crazy Y2K vibes where you feel like you're trapped in the year 2000 if you just added like cute little like purple hair clips or even like purple butterfly clips if you were confident enough to do so but you could still wear just like regular denim jeans. I actually have butterfly clips somewhere and I've tried to look for them but I can't find them sorry. <laughs> the little tie up shoulders they're such a vibe. I feel like there's nothing new about this style of top but ever since these came out these reminded me of like Paris Hilton vibes when everyone used to have those those flip up Motorola phones oh my god <laughs> I definitely feel like my younger self had something that looked like this I didn't have to wear a bra that's my favorite part I'm so obsessed with crochet right now my mom sent me a bunch of pictures of me as a kid I think I have to blur it out because I think I might be naked in this picture but she was wearing this like crochet pink top and it was just a vibe so me trying to be my mom 15 or 20 years ago. I'm actually wearing this top wrong. It's meant to like cross over in the front. But I just like it like this. But I'm obsessed with this. I used to watch this movie about surfing when I was a kid and I feel like everyone used to wear tops like this in the movie. I think they were in like Hawaii or something like that. I don't know. I could do like a little monochrome outfit with the brown jeans. I feel like these tops are like a little bit statement because the patterns are kind of crazy. This is by Topshop but I got it on Asos. I found this on Princess Polly. It's a Guns N' Roses top. Um, do I listen to Guns N' Roses for the sake of not getting roasted? I definitely do. 
I have never tried on so many outfits at one video, which I feel like looks so much better in real life. But this whole outfit in real life is such a vibe. I definitely get like some Avril Lavigne like skater girl vibes. I love this. It's a little bit more like roomy than those super tight little Brandy Melville tops. And I kind of like that about it. If you just like put this on and like tuck it into your bra at the back. Full transparency, Beginning Boutique sent me this swimsuit. It's actually by that like swim brand 9.0 swim I think it is I'm gonna be honest it's not really a swimsuit that I would pick out but this outfit is my favorite thing that I've ever put in my body in my whole life and I like I'm gonna finish this video and put it back on not only do I benefit from the fact that this is so cute as a bodysuit but if I want to just like go to the beach and go for a swim which is now my favorite thing to do it's just so easy I just rip my jeans off <laughs> okay but like this with a little head scarf it makes it better, you can't lie. Anyway, speaking of accessories, TikTok told me that if your outfit is boring, just like throw on some accessories. It'll be way cuter. And that's probably the difference between what you're currently wearing and like the Pinterest picture. I didn't realize until like last year. Little bags, especially bags that have a little bit more space in it. Like I have this tiny little bag that like barely even fit my phone in it and nothing else. Head scarves, I'm going through a head scarf phase right now. I have a very small collection, but like it's, it's growing. Honestly, a super, super affordable affordable accessory. You can buy these on Amazon for super cheap. Headbands, like just these. When did this happen? These are like so cheap to buy. It doesn't have to be a neon green headband, but this is like one trend. It surprised me. I did not think that I would like the way this looks, but like it's kind of cute. I'll see if you can buy like a colorful pack and if so, I'll link it down below. And beanies. I feel like beanies are for everyone and I wear beanies like all year round. It really just triggers everyone. They're like, it's not the season. I'm like, yeah, but it looks cool. So this one is from Topshop. I got it on Acer's. I feel like I need to cut a thread or something because it won't fold down anymore. It looks hella awkward. <laughs> Fun pants is the next thing that I'm very excited about. By fun pants, I basically mean anything that isn't just like a block color or like basic denim. A little statement piece that you can add like a basic top with. It's like, oh, that's cool. I felt like these were a little bit of fun though. They also just are so baggy that they're really comfortable and they're kind of this like airy, breathy material, which is my favorite thing because it's kind of diverse. You can wear it in the summertime because it's so breathable, but at the same time, baggy and that you could put like leggings underneath it if it's the winter so like a little universal moment i feel like a skirt can kind of go in fun pants category i found this skirt on glassens and it's like this checkerboard print which it's also like a tight bodycon skirt which is a little bit out of my comfort zone i'm gonna say i feel like this outfit is the perfect example of how if you don't accessorize your outfit it can be a completely different vibe because i feel like if i didn't have the head scarf on and just like some fun little sneakers I feel like this outfit would look more like clubbing attire or like something you wear at a party or something. But I feel like this just makes it look like so much more casual, nearly like picnic. <laughs> so basically after accessorizing this skirt, I was like way more into the vibe. It really shows that depending on how you accessorize, what shoes you wear, what you wear on your head, it really makes the whole outfit. And basically that's what TikTok taught me about fashion accessorize. Hope you guys like the video. Comment your TikTok app down below and I'm gonna stalk you guys and yeah, see ya.